going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I am ready to do a double review of two newer arc form models. First up we have the Saber which is a Ultim scaled liner lock knife. Really enjoyed this one and then of course we have the Theory which is a titanium frame locked knife. Um, these are, I believe this is an in-house design from Arcform, and this is a design by, one second, I forget the maker's name, um, D oh, Dustin Snyder of Snyder Knives, um, and then, I, like I said, I believe the theory is an in-house design, I'll try to confirm that here on the website real quick. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't say, like, who designed it, so I'm assuming that's just an in-house design by Arcform. Uh, but these are two really, really dope knives. The Saber is one that I was looking at purchasing for myself. So, of course, I forgot to mention, these are being sent in or loaned out via the Lefty Pass Iron Group. So, Kevin, if you are watching this, thank you so much, my friend. Got some clear American Black Cherry. If you guys are big fans of, you know, um, sparkling water, Clear American is like Walmart's brand. And it is, hands down, the best sparkling water I've found. Tons of flavors. You can get the big bottles for like 70 cents. Um, so big fan of that. It's a shameless plug. But yeah, the Sabre is one of the ones that I was really excited for. And the Theory was definitely one that I enjoyed too. Um, I guess I wasn't as excited for this one as a Sabre. But I have really enjoyed carrying this. And it's just a really good knife. At the end of the day, I think Arcform has two really good models here. And I think that um, they have, you know... It's cool to see them sort of adding stuff to their lineup. These are the two, you know, the first two models I've ever handled from them. They're pretty much known for their slim foot models. Um, that's kind of what their flagship, you know, model is. They also have the slim foot auto, which is their collaboration with ProTech. Uh, they're automatic, or obviously automatic knives. But I've never handled them before. Um, so these are the first two ever that I've gotten my hands on. I believe the theory is made by Riot. I'm not totally sure where the Saber is made. Uh, again, I will check the website, but it doesn't really say to... Yeah, so manufacturer is Riot Knives. The designer is Brian Keyes of the Theory. And again, I think that would be an in-house design. Um, and then we're gonna check here with the Saber. So of course it's a Snyder design, but it is made in... Okay, so Arcform is the maker of this. So they do technically do make their own knives according to their website at least. Um, but enough rambling on, we're going to go into the specific categories, you know, materials, ergos, carry, and finally price point and what I recommend this knife. I'm gonna try to keep this fast and sweet. Um, try to stay under 20 minutes, that's my goal. So I'm gonna quit rambling, we're gonna get right into this. Starting with materials, you guys can see these are some beautiful Altum scales. Also my first experience with Altum, and I kind of like it. I know a lot of people call it like pea plastic or piss plastic. And you know, of course it kind of does give those vibes, but for the most part, I like it, especially when you have blacked out, you know, you have a blacked out blade here, blacked out hardware and blacked out scales and liner, or not, not uh, scales, liners. It just looks really good. It kind of darkens it up a little bit. doesn't let the light shine through as much. Um, so I really like that but blade seal is 20 CV. You kind of have a, a leaf shaped blade here. Uh, very nice and clean, uh, flat grind here, comes onto a nice thin edge right there, arc form, and then over here, 20 CV. You have a loop over style deep carry clip that is righty only carry. Of course you have a inset liner lock with plenty of lock bar access. You have an Altum backspacer. Um, really nice, just slim carry. There is internal milling on both sides, mainly on the show scale side, if you guys can see that. But it's on bearings, and of course you have a hole for employment here. Some specs on this knife. So overall length, 7.25 inches. Blade length is 3.25 inches, so right on my sweet spot. Cutting edge, 3.25. Blade thickness, 0 0.125. Handle length, 4 inches. Handle thickness, 0.53 inches. And weight at 3 ounces. So it is a very lightweight knife very nice that way um, makes for a great great carry and there are two other options so you can get this in the Ultim in black you can get this in green micarta and a satin blade and you can also get this in black micarta with a black you know uh, coat of blade and everything like that so there are some options for you on uh, Arcform's website which I will leave linked down below just to their catalog from there you can find both knives 
Uh, but now switching over to the Theory. Of course, like I said, this is a titanium frame lock knife with an M390 blade. I don't even know exactly how you would call this. Uh, it's kind of a drop, I mean, it's pretty much a drop point, but it has a little bit of kind of a worn cliff in there with a nice big long belly, um, but also has a little bit of a spear point. It has these thumb sort of discs instead of studs. Works very well. There's the Form logo, M390. Um, kind of a muted pot clip, which I really like, and it uh, matches the backspacer really well. And this is also a righty only knife. A little bit heavier, of course, because you have titanium. Um, some specs on this one. Well, before I get into specs, there is no internal milling, so you do have a little bit of weight there. But overall length, 8.125 inches. Blade length at 3.5 inches. Cutting edge, again, 3.5. Um, so cutting edge and blade length are same on both of these knives. So that's really nice that Arc Form is kind of packing a lot of cutting power into their blades, and you don't have like, you know, choils and everything like that. So you're getting a lot of blade. Uh, with each of these knives then blade thickness of course 1.4 or 0.14 inches handle length 4.6 inches handle thickness 0 0.45 inches and weight at 4.93 ounces so basically a five ounce knife and you can definitely feel it like this has some heft to it it has some weight to it but it doesn't feel overly heavy it just feels well built you know very solid very you know in industrial feeling kind of um, and it even says here on the website, best use is hard use. Um, so that's really, really cool. And then for materials, or excuse me, not materials, for other variations of this, you can get obviously the blacked out version with black titanium and black blade. You can get a titanium version with satin accents, which looks really, really good. You can get a titanium with black accents, which is just the um, thumb discs in the hardware. The blade stays satin, which is also very nice. And then of course, this version. And you can also get the black DLC coated blade with bronze accents. Uh, my favorite is probably the titanium with the black accents because it's nice because it matches like, you know, obviously on the satin blade, the Arcfell logo or excuse me, Arcform logo is uh, black. So it just it matches really well, but they all look very nice. And I have really enjoyed this black one. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into action next. So switching back over to the Sabre, you do have a thumb hole right there, kind of a pill shaped hole. Thumb flick works very well. Um, you do have a nice, very snappy detent on the saber. I really liked uh, fidgeting with this quite a bit. So thumb flick works really well. You get very nice purchase on there. Middle finger flick. It does, you know, you kind of want to skip out once in a while because it is a snappy detent until you get used to it. Uh, and I'm, I'm still used to it and I still slip out, but yeah. But it's just, I mean, it is, it is a stout detent and it's really nice on such a small, you know, lightweight liner lock to have just a very snappy detent, but flies right out of there. And of course you can slow roll it. Now for closing, you have a liner lock with plenty of lock bar access, drops to your nail, some micro shakes in its home, drops to your nail, one shake in its home. Um, it's very fit, you know, smooth and fidgety on bearings. And of course, this is a pass around knife, or both of these are pass around knives. So you to take that with a grain of salt, you know, make sure, um, you know, you're probably gonna get a stiffer knife out of the box, you just have to break it in. But if this came, you know, anywhere near how fidgety this is right out of the box, I would be very pleased. Very, very smooth. A little bit of blade play. I did have to tighten this up once or twice since I've had it in. Um, I'm obviously not going to, you know, lock tight the pivot or anything like that, but, just wanted to mention that there is a little bit of blade play, so that might have a little something to do with how good it is. But even when I tightened it up, it was still very smooth, very fidgety, very drop shutty. Um, so very, very pleased with how the Sabre is to fidget with. And I'm also very pleased with how the Theory is to fidget with as well. So it was a little bit to get used to these thumb discs, I will admit it. Um, these, I think, are the first thumb discs that I've ever handled before. So like I said, it did take me a little bit of time. But they work really, really well. So you have, you know, kind of oops, some jipping on there if it'll focus on both sides. Thumb flick works well. You just kind of find a nice area with your meteor thumb and it just pops right out of there. Middle finger flick also works very well. You have a nice detent on here. Not as snappy as the Sabre, but it is very nice. Um, still stiff enough to, to not really fail much. Um, you kind of have to try to fail on this knife. Of course, you can slow roll it, which works really well with the thumb disc. Flies right out of there. Now for closing, 
drops your nail with the frame lock. Bang, one, you're down. Nail, micro shakes. No blade play at all. Um, this was locked up really tight the whole entire time I had it. It did not come loose like the Sabre did. Um, so just really, really comfortable and fun to figure with. Really, you know, like I said, after a while, I got used to those thumb discs, and it just makes for a very fun carry. Not fun carry, fun action to fidget with. Um, and just having that thwack of the titanium, just, it's really acoustic. It just, it's nice. It's a nice, you know, heavy-duty knife that you can fidget with, and that's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, so, again, very pleased with the uh, theory. So, next up, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to talk about Ergos. Now, on the Sabre... It's obviously a little, you know, smaller knife. Um, you don't have a choil here, but I can still get all four fingers on this knife very easily. You can kind of use this area right here as like a little bit of a choke up point. It's not the most comfortable just because it's kind of a hump and you really don't have too much area to land on, but it's definitely usable if you have to do, you know, very specific push cuts or cut around something that you have to be very careful um, of what you're cutting around. But overall, it's, you know, the Ultim is nicely done. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. It basically reminds me of a mixture between if you took G10 and FRN and kind of put them together and they had a baby, I kind of would say Ultim would be that. Um, you know, it just, it feels and kind of looks plasticky in some functions, but then it also looks and feels kind of like premium in the other ways. So it's kind of a, a weird thing. Um, I like it. It's, you know, it's comfortable. The pot clip sits very nice and flush uh, for being a loop over style clip to the scales. So can I feel it a little bit, but it's not causing much of a hot spot at all. Very, very comfortable. Um, when I'm choked back here, I get all four fingers. Like I said earlier, my first finger goes here, kind of this natural restriction point. Um, before I go into that, I guess, it's very, very neutral design, you know, very, very simple, which I like. You guys know I love a lot of simple designs, um, but just pretty much a straight line here, tapers off, swells a little bit right here in the bottom, but it's pretty even keel until you have this finger groove right here. So um, pointer finger up front and the rest of my fingers follow suit. My thumb lands kind of middle of the blade um, and I get some really good control in the saber grip. Hammer grip is also very comfortable if you have to do, you know, push cuts or, you know, um, reverse hammer grip is good if you have to pull through some rope. Um, this is a really usable and workable knife with such a nice blade shape. Um, and again, thin behind the edge, 20 CV. Um, you get good cutting performance with a comfortable handle. So that just makes the knife all around better. But uh, yeah, the Sabre is very nice ergonomically. And I was definitely surprised with how the Ultim felt in hand. Um, so switching over to the Theory, it's also very, very comfortable. Obviously, it's a much bigger knife. You know, you have, you know, a lot more real estate to work with there. Um, so I can obviously get all four fingers of the knife very, very easily. And this is a very comfortable knife. The, the uh, scales are, you know, design is also very, very simple. Um, it's a very different and kind of unique looking knife, but it's simple at the same time because you pretty much have a straight line back here. You do have a little bit of a thumb ramp going on there, but you know, not super aggressive. And then it tapers off and it's a sharp edge, not a sharp edge, but it's a sharp angle right here. And then it's very neutral through the bottom too. It gets fat here and then it gets skinny towards the middle. Um, but again, I can fit all four fingers on here. My thumb lands right on the jimping right there, land right here, rest of my fingers follow suit, and I have plenty of room for, um, you know, moving around and getting more comfortable if I need to be. But saber grip, very comfortable. Hammer grip, reverse hammer grip. Um, 7-Eleven gas station knife fights with Kevin, comfortable. Uh, so all in all, you know, the titanium feels really good. It has a nice finish to it. And because it's, uh, I don't know if it's, yeah, it'd be DLC coated. Uh, it has a kind of a matte finish to it, which is really nice. Adds a lot of nice texturing to it. Um, you do have a little bit of a sharp edge right here towards the end of the knife, right on the butt, um, which you obviously could maybe use this in like in a self-defense manner if you had to hit someone across the head with this. If you didn't want to stab someone, that might work. Uh, but you're not, you know, you're never going to feel that in your normal grips. So I'm not really going to like complain about it too much um, or really at all. I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Uh, but yeah, comfortable, nice, you know, geometry on the blade shape. M390 comes onto a thin edge, nice, um, you know, pretty pretty straight edge. Obviously tapers up a little bit, but nice belly. Um, so that obviously combined with the comfortability of this knife, you know, very similar to the Sabre, make it a very, very comfortable and uh, great cutting experience. So next we're going to move into the carry department. 
And both of these carried very well. Um, obviously, this is a very positive review. You guys can tell I don't really have much to say bad about either of these knives. I thoroughly enjoyed carrying them and having them in my, you know, in the collection per se for a couple weeks. Um, but this knife carries, you know, as good as good as the theory carries for how you know big it is and how heavy it is, it carries well. The saber just carries so well. You you can't even tell this knife is in your pocket because. The loop over style deep carry clip, you know, they did with the clip what I want more people to do. And instead of like putting it down here and having kind of some extra real estate, they put it almost as far up into the corner as they could. And they pretty much have that much sticking up out of your pocket. It carries deep. It's lightweight. It weighs like three ounces. You have no sharp edges from a flipper tab, you know, at risk of pulling, uh, you know, if you go down past it to get change, medicine, whatever it may be and you get on past it and go to pull it up out, you do have no risk of that because you don't have a flipper tab or jipping. Um, so it just, it carries well. I've carried this in gym shorts. I've carried it in khakis. I've carried it in my bird dog shorts. I've carried it a lot in different, you know, uh, configurations and it, it carries well in every single one just due to the size, the weight, you know, the, uh, excuse me, the slimness and just, it just carries well. End of the day, it carries well. And uh, the uh, theory, oh, I almost have dropped it. The theory also carries very well too. Again, it's almost a five ounce knife. So you have more, obviously, um, you know, it, you know, it's there. I have carried this in my bird dogs, I think primarily, obviously my gym shorts just around the house, but even in my bird dogs, it carries really well. The pot clip sits nice and slim to the knife. Um, you know, it has some good tension, but it just, it works well drops down in, you have no sharp edges. You do have some jipping right here, but that's not gonna cause you to really pull this knife up out of your pocket. So you don't really have much to worry about there, uh, but it just sits down in. You have about that much sticking out of your pocket. So as far as mill titanium clips go, that's a good, you know, positive thing in my opinion, because it, it looks very good from an aesthetic standpoint as well. Um, so maybe the only thing I can, can kind of critique is I feel like they could have had some milled out pockets on the inside of the titanium that maybe would have gave you half an ounce to an ounce. Um, I think that might've worked a little bit better, but uh, again, all in all, cannot complain, carries well. And uh, yeah, so that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend these knives. Can I recommend these knives? Absolutely, they are fantastic. If you guys like the, basically if you like the designs, then go for it, you're gonna like it. Um, you know, if you are a fan of the Sabre, in either Altum or Micarta, which I think this is a very handsome, you know, very utilitarian looking knife that cuts well, carries well, performs well. You, you can't go wrong. And if you want something a little bit more, you know, sort of fancier and, you know, a little bit more, I don't wanna say well-built, kind of overbuilt, titanium frame lock, I really don't think you can go wrong with the, uh, the theory either. Carries well for being a kind of a five ounce knife, big three and a half inch blade. But the action is nice, you know, the, the you know, fit and finish on both of these knives has been really good. Uh, obviously, this is a Riot made knife, uh, but this is an arc form made knife, and I think they killed it too. So fit and finish and quality is, you know, all really good on both of these knives. Uh, so I can recommend both of them. Now we're talking about prices. The theory is this specific version is coming in at, switch over real quick, $340. Um, both the DLC coated blades, oh sorry, this is 340. The same version of this except for the bronze accents is 350. The plain Jane titanium with satin accents is 310. And the plain Jane with black accents is 320. So I think, you know, in that price range, three to 350 is perfectly adequate. Um, would I maybe like to see it between 250 and 300? I think maybe that would get more people drawn in to them as a company and as a product. But for that price point, I really can't, you know, complain too much. Uh, you're getting, you know, a lot of other knives in that same price range with the same materials and the same, you know, fit and finish and build quality. And again, it's a Riot made knife, so no complaints there. But what I think is an even better price is the Sabre, which is coming in at $160. So not this specific version, the Ultim is $185, but if you were looking at the Green Micarta and Satin, it's $160. And the black micarta and black blade is also 160. Um, I think that is a really good deal. You know, you're getting 20 CV, nice micarta, a really good build quality, um, good blade shapes, just a very usable and simple knife design that I think is awesome. So I can't really 
you know, I think that is a steal of a deal. And then if you're interested in getting some Ultim, that's another 20 bucks, so 185. You know, that's still a good deal, a sub $200 knife for the materials you're getting, the build quality you're getting, and uh, you know, everything just goes together super, super well. And I think that's a fantastic deal. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check them out. They'll be linked in the bottom of the, or not in the bottom, in the description down below. Uh, I really, really enjoyed them. I know I've said that a few times, but I did. They were, this was a super exciting package for me because I was really excited for the Sabre and then the Theory definitely surprised me. And as I, you know, carried it and used it and, uh, you know, just spent time with it, I have really grown to enjoy that. And I know I'm going to miss both of these knives, but uh, got to send them off sometime. So I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. But that was my full review of both the Arcform Sabre and the Arcform Theory. Two really good models from Arcform that I cannot wait for them to see, you know, make more variations, more you know, uh, sprint runs kind of see what they do. And I can't wait to see their new designs down the road, but leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on the theory? What are your guys' thoughts on the Sabre? I would love to hear them, but I'm going to wrap it up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, day, whenever you're watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.